Shamir. I'm with Mac DiMarco. We're going to be asking each other a few questions and playing Jenga. Mac DiMarco here, about to play Jenga with Shamir. Beautiful day, rooftop. Hey, that feeling was, okay? Those was lyrics. Oh. Okay. No. Now place it, yeah. But be careful. Yeah. There you go. And I, my turn as well, okay. Boom. How were you when you had your first cigarette? Probably 16 or, or something. I remember, oh yeah, I was with this guy, Teji. He was an old bud of mine. I ended up beating my drummer up one day in Montreal. So probably not like the best friend anymore, but um, and I remember feeling terrible for the rest of the night. And then I didn't smoke for years. And then all of a sudden, career smoker. I don't know, so there you go. Wait, okay, wait. My first cigarette was this kid he was kind of like a dippy kid, and he always like smoked cigarettes, and I was like used to make fun of him. But then I asked him for a few. I was like 16. I was too young to buy papers to roll my weed in, so I like took the cigarette, broke it open, and used that <laughs> to roll that up. But then I had an extra one, and I was like, well, I'm out of weed. I might as well just like smoke it. And I eventually ended up hearing a interview with Courtney Love. That was like she got like her really rough and gravelly voice from smoking weed and gargling whiskey. Oh, Courtney. And I did both, and I just got a cigarette habit. There you go. While we're on the topic, too, kids, if you're watching at home and you think, ah, oh, these musicians, they're so cool, they're smoking. It's your own life, it's your own choice, and I'm not condoning anything, all right? Don't, don't smoke. Because it's not cute to be old and smoking. Anyway, should we do another Jenga block? <laughs> Wait, can I hold this? Is that a yeah, part of the rules? I mean, you guess you could. Fuck the rules, right? The same European Vegas. Oh, yes. Yeah. Also, what is that song about? Because, you know, there's a lot of Europeans in Vegas that I like to visit. The European Vegas is a slang term for Montreal. Really? So it's like a, it's like kids move there in Canada thinking that, um, ah, yeah, it's like I'm moving to Paris. I can change my name, get a weird haircut, start wearing strange clothes that I was too afraid to wear before. So they treat it like moving abroad, but... In reality, it's just a weird, grimy, strange place. You know, I'm from Vegas, right? I like Vegas. I like Montreal, too, but, you know, totally different thing. And I, I think when I think of Vegas, I think more of Reno. Reno is pretty weird. You know, it's really weird. I don't remember, but I heard it was really weird. It's like junior Vegas, but, like, really... Did you order a prostitute? No, I've okay. never ordered a prostitute. I was just asking. But we, uh... We played it in Vegas at the beauty bar. Long time ago, yeah. But 21 and over. I was like 17. I cried. Oh, shit. <laughs> Cereal break? Yeah, we'll have the cheers. Does it really look that cool? No, it doesn't. And what is it doing to me? It's killing me, slowly. <laughs> I look like an old man. People are like, you're 25, all right? You I are look. 25. I know, but they're saying that I'm looking a lot older than I should be looking. Stress. Like, how much do you smoke a day, though? A lot. Maybe, like, a, at least a pack. Who but has the time? Now I don't really have to do anything anymore, so... <laughs> I got it from. Um, if you were me, you have to do like a thousand photo shoots a day, though. That's okay. Let's get let's get to this topic then. What would you do if you were Shamir? I guess I would probably do a photo shoot right off the bat. You'll do a few. Yeah. And then, <laughs> likewise, what would you do? I'll make out with Kiki because she's hot. Fair enough. There you okay. go. That's good. Yeah. That works. <laughs> I hope that wasn't disrespectful. No, not at all. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> Kira's gonna fucking hunt you down and kill no, I'm just kidding. Where'd be at that? No, no, it's all good. <laughs> okay, Jenga. Jenga. That's what you say when they all fall down, too. That's also oh. a rule, I think. Oh. <laughs> Black people don't play Jenga. <laughs> I was keeping it 1,000. Too easy. Okay. <laughs> all right. You could begin with this one, Shamir. Pet peeves. Mr. DeMarco, what are your pet peeves? I hate, you know, the one thing that I really dislike, the waiting for the waiter to bring the check, and then you gotta give your card, takes a while for him to come back and get it, and then you gotta go back, he pays, then you gotta sign, do the tip, it takes way too fucking long, drives me fucking crazy. We went to uh, Japan this year, and that's the thing about there in Tokyo, a lot of people trying to eat all over the place at the same time, right? And the places are small, so it's like you get in, they give you your food, and then afterwards they're like, you're done eating, get the fuck out of here. Perfect for me. Perfect, I love it. That's that's my pet peeve, and yours will be. Oh God, I don't like passive aggressive people. Like if you have a problem. Sorry, go ahead. You good? Yeah. If you have a problem with me, 
or with something that I do. Like, say it to my face. That's a whole other thing to be said, though, is the people that are man enough to say something to you over a text message or an email or, like, on an internet thing, but not in real life. Fucking pussies. That's all I got to say about it, you know? Be straight up. Yeah. Do you remember your first time meeting me? No, I don't know. When was it? I was, like, a nobody then. No, but when was it, though? It was 2013 South By at the Pitchfork Warehouse show. Oh! I was the kid wearing the Larry Clark T-shirt yeah, yeah, and I yeah, came yeah. up to you, freaked out on you, and then showed you that you were my screensaver. Yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah. You that, like my screensaver. And party. it was like right before UMO played or something, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was so fucking long ago. And you, and you dedicated together to me. Uh, hey, I did what I can. And I cried. <laughs> I cried. Oh my God, is it Wednesday today? Yeah. Okay. What's the best thing that someone threw at me at a concert? I feel like you should do this first because I feel like a lot of people throw a lot of things at you. Um, what was funny was uh, in, in London, we played this festival called Field Day, and Andy was doing some kind of like sexy guy solo shirt off, like, yeah, like I'm a rock star. And then no offense, Andy. No, no. I love the guy. He, love his solo. He knows he's hot. <laughs> but yeah, he's hot. He's a hot man. He's a beautiful boy. But someone whipped this. It was like a corner piece of a piece of, like a watermelon. And it smoked him right in the face. Like so hard. He was like, Ugh! And I was turned away from him at the time. And I felt like splatter and saw shit spray past me on the stage. And I was like, somebody threw a full beard. I was like, that's... The guy got angry and turned around. Then I looked at him and he had like watermelon seeds all over his face and he was like crying because it was in his eyes. And he's like, fuck. And I was like, but he handled it quite well. I got, didn't get injured really. And uh, I don't know if you remember at South by when, when you crowd surf and you were like, who grabbed my crotch? Was that you? Maybe. That happens sometimes now okay. too, a lot. But I just want to say sorry. No, it's okay. I okay. don't apologize. I don't mind. I think the weirdest thing that someone's thrown to me on stage, this lady gave me her beads in London. Like Mardi Gras beads? They were like really, I have them in my bag. I get a lot of shit actually, and I keep them with me as like little tokens. So whoever in, in London, you know who you are. That's nice, nice yeah. gift there. Big, oh, Jenga time. Oh God. It's coming right down to the fucking final minutes of this Jenga game here now. Watch out. Yeah, I know. There we go. Making Jenga my bitch. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, so my debut album is called Ratchet. Do you know what Ratchet means? I have a friend in Montreal that tried to explain it to me once. It's, it's kind of, it means like, cool, right? Like, that's, oh. No. No? no? It's kind a descriptive of. word. Like, it's a descriptive word. But what does it mean then? It varies, like, it all started from this YouTube song called She Ratchet. It was okay. definitely in a more negative light. Oh, okay. But also... Well, I guess it kind of sounds like rat shit, right? I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know but that. also, it's like a play off the actual word wretched. Oh, wretched. Yeah. Okay. You know, wretched is bad. Oh, so it, I had the completely opposite definition of it. But also, we're reclaiming it. Okay. It's almost like tacky, ghetto, or whatever, but also like we use it as a middle ground between of like ghetto and alternative. Okay. So like we're those kids that like drive down the street blasting Mac DeMarco, but also like fucking two chains. Jenga. How do you feel about Fifi Dobson? Holy shit, you know about Fifi Dobson? Holy shit. I'm obsessed with Fifi Dobson. I thought it was like pretty much just Canadians knew about her. She get a lot of pretty much yes, but I also like love Canadian music. There you go. Oh, Tegan no. and Sarah. I just got a Tegan, Tegan and Sarah, Sarah tattoo. Oh no way! Those are a girl that used to play in my band. She has a band called the Courtneys now. Yeah, the Courtneys. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, Jen is, is cousins cousin? with yeah. them. Yeah, so we used to go to their their shows when they'd come to Vancouver. Wait, I saw I saw a video because obviously I'm obsessed with you. I saw you. Okay. I saw a video of one of the Courtneys playing drums for you. You know? Yeah, she used to be in my band and make a videotape a long time ago. That's so cute. Old Jennifer, God bless her. Shout out to the Courtneys. Here's the thing about Montreal though. I just came from Montreal. Mm -hmm. They give artists all the alcohol. Yeah. I had like three full glasses of vodka before the show and they threw like three more on stage during the show and I played an extra song at the end of the set that I don't remember playing. Hey, 
Good vibes, though. That's French Canada for you. I hope you have a good time in the French Canada. That's where uh, a lot of Canadians are from. I'm down. I love it. There you go. What's uh, the perfect song, Mac? Uh, uh, Don't Ask Me Why by Billy Joel. All the waiters in your grand cafe leave their tables when you blink. Whoa. That's that was great. beautiful. I love that song. Anyway, what's your perfect song? <laughs> Critical by Japanther. Have you heard that song? We well, I think it's either too. called Critical or Claudius Critical. I've seen both titles. Okay. Let's go song. This is right down to the wire here. This is these moves could decide the fate of the tower. Jenga. <laughs> hey, it's the nature of the game. I know goes. it's gonna be me. Are we done with this? Can we just fuck that shit? I would love to know your fucking secret talent. Um, but I'm, I'm good at Star Wars trivia, I guess. Yeah. I've been watching the movies a lot. Because I loved that when I was a kid. I still love it, but now I'm watching it again. Mm. So you better believe that the knowledge is fresh in my mind's eye. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, try me. Try, try a question. Let's see. I don't... Well, just any, any basic question. What's Anakin Skywalker's birthday? See, I don't know that. See, I don't, like, I don't know what to ask. See, so, okay, that, okay, fair enough. Not a talent at all. What's your Is secret? Is there incest involved in Star Wars? Incest? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, I thought I read, see, I don't, I don't know any. Maybe behind the scenes, I don't know. Anyway, so, talent, talent demolished. Your secret talent, should we? Yarn. Yarn. You're good at, y at doing yarn work. <laughs> yeah. What's it, crochet? I crochet in it. Nice. Okay. So what you're trying to say is you're going to make me a sweater, then? I can do sleeves. I can make you a bomb-ass sweater vest, though. That sounds good to me, yeah, sure. Okay. I can do that. Okay. <laughs> you have to sign off, son. Okay, here we go. Ready? <clears throat> Thank you guys very much for joining us today. This beautiful day in Brooklyn, New York, on the rooftop of my record label's office. This has been Mac and Shamir playing Jenga. I may have won, but does it really matter? I don't think so. Have a great day, and God bless. <laughs> All the waiters in your grand cafe Leave their tables when you blink